Hi, my name is Andrew Messino. I'm 24 years old and I'm Miss West Virginia USA 2015. West Virginia is my home. I was born and raised here and my family met here. They're from two opposite sides of the world. So West Virginia does hold a very, very special place in my heart. Morgantown, or like some of us know it, Touchdown City, uh, is just immersed in WVU culture. So growing up, born and raised in Morgantown, uh, it's hard not to bleed gold and blue. I used to be dressed up in cheerleading outfits and we'd go to football games because the football stadium is like less than a mile away from our house and we would just walk there and it's just, it's something that brings my family together. Well, West Virginia is known as wild and wonderful. Uh, it's just one of the most beautiful states and I'm a little bit biased and I'll say I think it's the most beautiful state out there. Uh, whenever I was younger we would go to Cooper's Rock which is a state forest right around Morgantown and we would go hiking and it's just gorgeous. The scenery, the valley, the mountains, you can see everything and it's, it's truly out of picture. I have a pretty unique background. My mother is from France and my dad is from Mexico. I grew up trilingual. By the time I was five years old, I was able to speak all languages fluently. Growing up, every summer, the day school would end, we would go and fly off to either Mexico or France and spend the whole entire summer there. We would come back the day right before school started. So when I grew up, I definitely took that for granted. Uh, but I'm very, very proud that my family gave me that opportunity to be able to immerse myself in a different culture for so long. And it's definitely a big part of me and who I am today. I recently interned on the House and I also interned on the Senate side. As an intern in Washington, D.C., I was really able to see um, that there aren't enough women or minority representing us in the Senate or in the House. We've made wonderful strides in this area, but I think there's so much work to improve on. And that's why I'm very excited to pursue the career of a lobbyist to help further this cause and hopefully promote both women's rights and education.